my most recent project, or the project I'm working on now. I've just taken out the big window on the starboard side. This is the plastic piece that was there. Basically, you take all those screws out, and it comes that comes off pretty easily. Okay, I've already done the port side. So now I have the port side off, and I've got the starboard side off. I can tell right now that I'm going to have to use clamps and epoxy to bring the lamination and the core back together. And this is the way it looks out here. I just finished getting it off. It's pretty nasty looking, but I did get it off. I have not taken it apart yet. Don't know if I even want to salvage it or not. Um, this one looks a little better, but it's wet right there. So, I'm going to clean this up. I'll use a razor blade to clean this up and brushing thinner and acetone and um, get working on that. So, there's the, there's the window. There's the inside trim. And I used an exacto, large exacto, used a Dremel, used a uh, screwdriver to get all the screws out from the inside. So now it's clean up. As always, the hardest thing is the demo. I'm going to go ahead and epoxy this area right here and then clamp it. And then I'll have to do this second section right here. After I do these, then I'll work on my sides, and my top looks like here. I've got the same situation here that I need to work on. Top doesn't look as bad, but I haven't cleaned it out all the way yet. This side right here needs work also. The way I like to do it is I take a piece of cardboard, and I'll probably cut this in half. And I'll put down my resin. I'll put down my hardener, I'll put down my colloidal, mix it up with the um, tongue depressor, and then I'll start to use it. And I'm going to probably start to use it pretty early on because I do want it to go down inside this crack. When I mix this up, uh, that colloidal, I did wear my mask when I uh, mixed it up. And I'm uh, going to use it right now, I'm not going to wait for it to harden any more than this. So I'm gonna just gonna get it up here and get it in the gap as soon as I can. Let it soak down in that gap. And I like using a tongue depressor. window replacements today again I put a second coat of the bright side polyurethane uh, white paint from uh, West Marine on and I've got that done this side over here I put the um, putty on and don't know exactly it was by West Marine it was a putty that you put on so, of course, this was epoxied back together. Then I put the putty on to kind of fill in some of the low points. 
it's, it's been sanded and I'm about to put a first coat of the polyurethane on. I have tried to pre-coat before. In fact, the other side had the pre-coat. I wasn't all that happy with the pre-coat. I'm going to just go straight to the polyurethane on this side and see how it works. I've used, used, I've, uh, used just the polyurethane before and I've had good results. So I'm not going to use the pre-coat on this one. Okay, I've gone ahead and taped just with uh, the green frog tape. I've taped it around. I've done the same thing on the other side, so now I'm getting ready to paint this, give it a first coat. And this is on the starboard side. And I'm going to use the bright side polyurethane paint from West Marine in white. Okay, I am I am getting ready now to put the plexiglass into the port side. This is what it looks like right now from the inside. And I've got the plexiglass piece ready to go. I, okay, this is the way I've got it set up out here. Ready to go. I've got my blocks that it's going to sit on. I've got marks on the paper to line up with these blocks. I've got Gorilla Tape and I've got it shimmed keep it so it won't push down so now it's a matter of starting to pull off the tape well I got it secured it is kind of interesting when you do it but I feel like the uh, all the supports I used did a good job the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape around it leaving about an eighth of an inch gap and I'm going to use the 796 uh, silicon black uh, around the edges and that's another thing that's recommended by Andy Miller at Quitworks. Okay, I have um, I taped around the window with just a green frog tape and I just finished using the Dow 795 silicone sealant in black. Use that. Went on pretty easy. Uh, it's a very hot day, so it did stay workable longer than I thought it might. I put two coats on. I may put a third coat on, especially on this top edge, because I want to make sure I've got a good seal there. And once I feel like I've got it good, then I'll go ahead and pull off the green tape. And after I pull off the green tape, then I'll pull off this paper. And I'll be done with the port side fixed window. Okay, I've pulled the green tape. So now it's time to just go ahead. Now it's time to just go ahead and take off this tape, see how it looks. Not bad. And there we have it. That looks modern. That looks modern. That looks clean. That looks the way it's supposed to look. That silicon worked great. You can see the seal right there. Give a real nice seal to it. And now I just need to go do the starboard side. That is a clean looking window. That really looks good. And this is how it looks on the inside. Got some cleanup I've got to do, of course. Uh, I went with the smoked gray, but boy, that looks so much nicer than it did before. So much nicer. I'm very satisfied with it and we'll find out how it if it's keeping out the water that'll be the 
acid test, see how well it's doing keeping the water out. But if we do have a leak, it'll be easy to find, very easy to find. It won't be hidden behind some framework because there's only the window and the cabin. So there'll be no hidden leaks. And now I'm going to work on the starboard side. Same thing. I've got to clean it up a whole lot before I can put anything on. But we'll go ahead and get started on that. It's a very hot day. Okay, I'm getting ready to do the starboard side now. I have my blocks here. These three blocks put into place so that that will um, keep them the right distance vertically. I have put some marks here, here here and here, there and there, so I can also line up with that. I also have these marks here, so I know about where it should be there. Um, I did put some marks, no I didn't put any marks up there, but I can see I've got pretty good coverage on the tape down here. I could probably put a little triangle of tape right there at the end before I actually pull the tape off. But it's looking pretty good. So that's about the only thing I see that I want to do is put a little triangle of tape right there. To know where to do it, I'm just going to go ahead and pencil in. Right about where the glass goes. So that way I'll know how far how much more tape I need to put in right there. So, Okay, so I've gone ahead and put in a little piece of tape right here. So now, I'll just clean that up right there. So now, I'll double check things one more time and then I'll be ready to pull the tape and place the window in. Okay, I've pulled the tape off. I have my marks down. I have taken some of the uh, paper off the inside right here. So you just kind of slowly, slowly, slowly. I'm just gonna kind of, first of all, do it on the outside of here just to make sure I've got that part square. It's looking pretty good. All my marks are holding. And I, it's in place. Now I just start pushing it down in place. I think that's about as good as you can do one person. Maybe the nice thing about one person is you don't have a miscommunication. So I like trying to do it if I can by myself. That way I've got nobody to blame if something goes wrong but myself. And actually I have helpers. These are my helpers right here. So actually I think this one went on a little prettier than the port side which shows just how doing it one time you get better by the second. I definitely had more confidence with this one than I did with the first one. So I'm just trying to give, make sure that that's good and square and tight. And really I can pull these off. These aren't doing anything anymore. All right, so I have the starboard fixed window on now. I am about to put on the black silicon 396 caulking and I put the tape on the masking tape leaving oh gosh maybe about an eighth of an inch a little bit more gap so about to do that get it done 
I've put the uh, silicon on there now. It's just a matter of taking off the tape uh, and then taking off the paper and the window is finished. And I just finished peeling the paper off of the starboard side. So now the starboard side is complete. Wow. That looks great. I have to say it looks great compared to what I look, had before. Now I've got a nice modern fixed window on my 1984 Hunter 31. That looks great. And thanks to Andy Miller at Boatworks today. He's the one who gave me a lot of advice on how to do this. Also there was a, um, another person who had done a similar job on another Hunter, done similar with the tape and the caulking. I did mine a little different and you might do yours a little different from this one. So we've got the starboard and the port fixed windows complete.